Hi, I am Waho Mengari, the founder of the Personal Finance Academy, and I'm excited today to discuss a subject that a lot of people have asked me lately, and this is income management. Um, when you're looking at income management, I think the nice and good place to start is to actually define income. And income is the money that we actually get. Income is sort of the opposite of expenses. So the money that comes to you. And broadly, there are two types of incomes. There is what we call active income. And this is the money that you actually earn by getting involved. And we're going to look at a few examples of that. So you have to do something to get that money. Um, the other type of income is called passive income. Now, this is the income that is generated by your money. When we do investment and we get a return, that return is what we call our passive income. When we put together some um, rental properties and people pay rent to us, that is what we call passive income. So we're going to look at the six uh, types of income. Then as we look at these six types of income, I would urge you to consider whether you actually have the six or you want to build, uh, build them. So let's, let's start by looking at what is commonly called earned income. And earned income is, like I said, uh, active income which we actually earn. And I'm talking about things like salary. So you get a job, uh, you utilize your skills, you utilize your time, you utilize your knowledge, and somebody pays you for that service that you give them, and that's a salary. Or it could actually be a retainer. There are people who don't have a salary, they have a retainer. A retainer and a salary are almost uh, one of the same thing. There are people who earn a commission. So you actually go out and you sell and you earn a commission. That is what we call earned income. And that's one type of uh, income. Um, there are six, and so the second one is what we call profit income. A profit income comes from buying and selling, what we call trade. So you buy an item and you sell it to somebody else, there is a markup on that item, and that is what you call profit income. A lot of people in business make that uh, profit income. Uh, the third type of income is called interest income. And interest income is actually where you earn interest. And generally this comes around from lending to others. So you lend your money and people pay you your money plus some markup on top. And that is what we call interest income. This is what we do at the circle, the cooperative society, the credit union. You have your savings there. The official lend it to some of the members. And at the end of the year, they give you a check. That is what we call interest income. Now, the other type of income is dividend income. And dividend income is very simple. You buy shares, uh, maybe in a company, uh, the securities exchange, and the company performs. At the end of the year, people share the profits that have been made by the company. And that is what we call dividend income. So when you get uh, dividends, we call that dividend income. We have another type of income and this is rental income. And I think rental income is uh, very easy to understand. You have a house, you have a car, you have a space, you have an equipment, and you lend it out. You lend it out to somebody and they pay you. So it's like what we collect in as rent, uh, whether we're uh, lending our car, whether we're leasing our car, whatever we make is what we call rental income. And the last type of income, the sixth type of income, is what we call capital gains. And capital gains is very easy to explain. You buy something, an asset that is appreciating, and you sell it after some time. Now that margin between what you bought it for and what you sold for is what is called capital gains. Could be you bought um, a share at 10 bob and you sold those shares when the price went up to 15. So you made five shillings and that is capital gains. You bought a piece of land and that land has appreciated, say, from 1 million shillings to 2 million shillings, that extra 1 million you have made is what we call capital gains. So those are the six types of incomes, and it is always good to check out which of these don't I have, which of these should I work around so that I can actually be able to make that kind of income. Because when you have the six, I think life becomes more enjoyable. We will actually have income now that we can manage. Thank you.